guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So we have suspect pursuit with Miss getting herself in trouble. And let's see how we can stop her. Okay, so there will be two types, actually three types of waves for this round. Uh, for the first uh, wave, you will have to place both of them either, you know, top or bottom. So Mess has two settings. She has a sword. She has, then she has a hammer. For this stage, you're going to be using her sword so that she deals more damage. For this girl here, you'll need to make sure that you have enough for her to core break because she is your key in winning the last uh, wave. Okay, so after that, you can actually <clears throat> make sure that they're in the middle because this wave is going to be the faster wave and um, if you need more space at the back, you could actually move, especially if you want to clear, clear up the stragglers that uh, went be behind you. So far... There you go. So go back to that formation there. <clears throat> so far, no problem with these waves. The the your only um, challenge here would be the brute that should be core broken. So there you go. So you need to prepare your core breaking here and deal as much damage as you can. Then once he restores his core, should be able to prepare for another core breaking session. So as you see there, you really have to be patient with this guy. Core break again. So you have to do this methodically. Once he rises again, you have to alternate to manage your HP as well. As you can see there. Your core break. More or less, this is the last one, unless you cannot finish him off here. There you go. So, although mess <laughs> made a mess out of herself, you still finish this stage. And there you go. So, that is it. That is how you finish the stage. So I'll alternate up until your HP is probably low enough and you get to kill the last one that is actually difficult. So thank you very much guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.